We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Milan Jankovic, who is Director of the Republic Agency for Electronic Communications, or RATEL, in Serbia. Mr. Jankovic, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for the invitation. You're here for the second week of uh, Wicket. Yes. I wanted to ask you about your, your impressions of uh, what's been happening so far. I just was present from Saturday and Sunday, these working groups uh, and uh, these meetings which are have prepared for today, second week. And I hope the work is very hard. I see the many proposals and from that reason I think also many delegates are here. So we are there working during the weekends. It's very important, something that's happened in the future. What impact is what's being decided here at Wicket going to have for Serbia? My main uh, importance is uh, because I am from a regulatory body. For us, it's very important to know what the situation will be next 10, 20 years, or first t next 20, to see from a regulatory, uh, regulatory situation because uh, operators are uh, very wishing to have a predictable situation. We changed a few technologies from 1988, and now we are in a new age, especially for the new technology in mobile communication, LT, and also for the uh, uh, known situation in the broadband. From that reason, we know what's happening in the future, and we have to have a clear situation to make all the regulatory framework according to that, because they invest a lot of money in their networks, and they wish to have a profit. And from our situation is to predict and to give them that position. What are you hoping will be some of the outcomes from this conference? A main outcome of this conference will be just to strictly see what's happening in the future because we have this situation in, uh, from previous uh, international regula regulations with this voice only. Now we have new technologies and I think it will have a more influence in broadband because the broadband is the future. And all these things, do you go wireless or wireline, you have to go much more speedy and uh, with streams to the, your end users. And end users are here the main point. They are wishing to have the, these new broadband services. And Serbia is a candidate for the European Union. Uh, what particular regional concerns do you have? Well, from 1st March this year, we have this candidate status that's help us to be the observer in the BEREC, Board of European Regulatory uh, or Electronic Communication, and also to be the member of independent regulatory group. From that reason, now we are sharing our experience more wider in the region, in the Europe, and it helps us because uh, our, we have uh, two great operators from European Union, that's Talenor and Telecom Austria, and from that reason, now we know also the regulation in European Union. And our framework uh, on uh, electronic law is according to European Regulation 2002. So from that reason, we'll go step one when we start negotiation, I hope next year as the Republic of Serbia, then we'll be in the framework 2010 of European Union. And are you optimistic for the future for telecommunications in Serbia? I'm very optimistic. Serbia is one of the first countries. So we are a member of ITU from 1866. So no depth that we are follow ITU proposals. Mr. Jankovic, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.